very slowly and lightly. Okay, y'all. I came to like throw some trash and to mostly make a video. Well, basically speak what's on my mind. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why? And the hell people feel like you always got to go do shit for them, buy them shit. But when you need shit, they want to give you something used. But they expect for you to get something, to buy them something new. Like, have you lost your fucking mind? No, I'm not going to do that. If you can give me something used, then bitch, you can accept something super used. If I feel like giving you any damn thing. And then another thing. Motherfuckers always complaining about what the fuck other people got in their house or don't have in their house. Oh, you need to do this. You need to do that. You got this. You got that. You ain't got this. You ain't got that. First of all, don't come to my motherfucking house complaining about shit. If you got a complaint, stay, go take your ass back to your house. Stay. Keep that shit over there in your house. Then, another thing, they, like, you can't complain about shit. What you got better than the next person. Bitch, you sleeping on the floor just like the next person. Even wor Your situation even worse than the next fucking person. But then be the main motherfucking ones that always want to talk. That always want to talk. And when they talk, they're talking shit. They always got some shit to talk about somebody. See, my thing is, and I'm always going to say, people always want to create storms. But then want to cry when it rains. Or want to get mad when it rains. You can't start shit with somebody and they get mad when they give you what you're asking for. You, you just can't do that. That's just not how the fuck shit works. I know I'm up here too early. It's about 10, 15. But yeah. Like I'm trying to tell you, that just ain't how the fuck shit's supposed to work. Like, it's okay for you to start shit with somebody. Or to fuck constantly fuck with somebody. Fuck with somebody. Fuck with somebody. But then don't expect for them to say or do shit about it. Or say shit to you. But when they come back at you with the same amount of energy that you gave them, keep that same fucking energy. Keep that fucking energy because you didn't go get your family members when you was starting the shit. So why the fuck do you need to go get your family members when somebody come back at you with the same shit and energy that you gave right to them? Oh, no, you didn't need them then. You ain't need no help then. You didn't need no help starting the shit. So you don't need no help finishing the shit. Quit being messy. Quit being evil. And quit starting shit with people you wouldn't have to worry about trying to uh, get somebody to fight your battles for you. See, now I know what my mom meant when she would always say. Fight your own battles. And the ones you can't fight, give it to God. See, my fuckers be doing some evil, twisted shit. But then want to get everybody else in the world, uh, everybody else to fight their funk ass battles for them. How you going to start the shit and can't finish it? If you're going to start some shit with somebody, at least be a bit, be the big bitch and finish it. You a big bad bitch when it comes to starting it. But motherfuckers just don't understand. They like fucking with people. And be like, okay, well, it, she ain't going to say nothing back. She ain't going to do this. She ain't going to do nothing back. I mean, blah, 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 blah. Y'all look like it's about to rain. But, yeah, be like, she ain't gonna do nothing. She ain't do this. She ain't do that. I. And then when you come back at her, oh, my God. She actually coming from my throat. She coming from my life. Let me go get my family. No, bitch, don't get your family members. It's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one situation here. It was one-on-one -on -one when you was all mouth, all bark and no bite. When you can start the shit, it's one-on-one. -on -one. But, when it come time to it comes time to stand up for yourself. And you gotta go run with your tail between your legs to go and call fucking family members. Nah, bitch. Mm -mm. Don't call no motherfucking family members because you didn't call no motherfucking family members to help you start it. Like I keep saying. Be the big same big bad bitch you was when you started it. It's when you finish it. Because I hate when motherfuckers pick at somebody for no fucking reason. First of all, the person ain't bothering you. The person ain't saying nothing to you. And if they do say something to you, they ain't nothing but sweet, respectful things that they say. Half of the time, if they don't have, I'm the type of motherfucker, if I don't have nothing nice to say, I just don't say shit. Unless you push me. Then you push me, you or you being disrespectful to me first, then I'm going to stand for myself and disrespect you. I mean, 
I feel like you fucking asking for it. So if you fucking asking for it, then why not give it to you? Yeah, what the hell is this one over there? Food, probably. But yeah. My thing is, so if I'm like maintaining my composure and I'm not saying, you see, I'm not bothering you. I'm not saying nothing to you. Why the fuck are you just constantly bother me? That's what I want to know. Why do you fucking constantly bother me? Why constantly bother somebody like that? Like, why? That's what I want to know. But hey. It seems like, it's like some motherfuckers like shit like that. They like starting shit. They don't feel good until some shit gets started. Like, um, y'all some messy motherfuckers for real. That's another thing. I hate messy motherfuckers. I hate right along with people that they just start shit for no reason. They don't like when people are not hype, active. They don't like people around them that's not messy. They don't like people around them that minds their own business. They don't like people that stays in their own lane. To be with them, you gotta be a messy ass bitch. You gotta be a messy motherfucker. You gotta be starting shit with people all the time. Random people just picking some random shit just to start. I'm not that kind of fucking person. And just as long as you don't bother me, or you don't disrespect me, or you don't say stupid shit to me, then I ain't got nothing to say to you, cause you ain't bother me so why should I bother you that's just point blank period so I'm like this shit is just not cute like damn the way you treat motherfuckers strangers just imagine how bad you treat your fucking family the fuck was that yeah I don't know these people here make you want to beat their rabbit ass beat the shit out of them cause they mouth one of these days like my mom always told me your mouth gonna write a check your ass can't cash Keep talking all that shit to people. Keep fucking with people who ain't bothering you. One of these days, you're going to get what's coming to you. You're going to get what you're really asking for. You don't know you're asking for it. But you're asking for it because you keep fucking with people. But yeah. This, like, y'all. These motherfuckers here. Not in this apartment. She's the sweetest woman in the world. Her right here. Because that's a bedroom window. But she's sweet. And she feel the same way. The ones next to her down there, between us and her, y'all, they so damn nosy, messy, evil. I mean, not evil, but they so nosy, messy, and start shit. They like to start shit and keep up shit with people. Like, damn, can you just leave somebody the fuck alone? Damn. If you see I'm trying to avoid you, if you see I'm minding my own damn business and staying in my own damn lane, why the fuck can't you just leave that shit alone? Like, just leave me the fuck alone. Don't come, that don't mean coming there fucking with me, coming there picking at me, coming there stressing me the fuck out. Bitch, I don't need you in your stress. Leave me the fuck alone, okay? Can you just do that? All right, goddamn, just leave me alone. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that peppermint on. I'm about to say, what is this on my head? Smell just like peppermint, but yeah. Like, yeah, I just don't understand. Why the fuck do y'all insist on fucking with people? Like, god damn. I'm not bothering y'all. Hold on. Yeah, anyways, I'm not fucking with nobody. Why do much y'all insist on fucking with me? Why do y'all just pick at me constantly? Now, when I get, cause, is it because I'm not saying anything? Is it because I'm not giving y'all the attention that y'all seeking? That if that's the case, that's not the way to go about getting nobody fucking attention. Everybody don't respond to shit, respond to mess, pettiness, pickiness, and shit. Everybody don't respond to shit like that. Hell, half the time people don't like shit like that. So. You could take that money, y'all, to take that bullshit somewhere else. Go find you somebody else who like that type of shit. I'm not the type of fucking person to be chilling like that. I'm not the type of fucking person to be doing some shit like that. Fuck that. Mm mm. Like I said, I'm not. A, I'm not a messy, picky bitch. I'm just no. Mm mm. Y'all done lost y'all fucking mind. Go find y'all motherfucker who knows how to do, who likes that kind of shit. Hola. 
I said, go find y'all a motherfucker that likes to start shit who keeps shit messy, who keeps picking at people, who keeps shit starting like it. I don't fucking like shit like that, okay? That just ain't me. So, you gonna have to fuck off, okay? That's about the only way you can find somebody who keeps up shit. And who keeps starting shit. That bitch shit ain't for me. So, yeah. That's all the fuck I gotta say about it. That's all I got to say about it. If you don't fucking like it, I don't know what the hell to tell you. But. Take that shit somewhere else. I'm finna end this video right here. I'm gonna see y'all. Bye y'all.